Sa Philippine Boxing, isa na ito sa pinakamalupit na boxer bago pa man sumikat ang pangalang Manny Pacman Pacquiao. At nun ito, the Filipino Flash Donaire. May isang Pinoy World Champion na tayo na talagang kinatatakutan sa United States at Mexico kung saan ito ang pinakatirador ng mga Mexicano at Amerikano kung saan matapang nitong nilusob ang kanilang bansa at hiniya ang kanilang mga boxers. Siya mga tol ang former WBA Super Bantamweight Champion, ang binansagang na Hawaiian Punch na si Jesus Salud na may 63 na panalo at 38 dito ay sa pamamagitan ng knockouts na tubong, sinait sa Ilocosur at naninirahan na sa Honolulu, Hawaii. Kung saan nakalaban nito ang mga sikat na World Champions na tulad ni Marco Antonio Barrera. That's correct. Normally his right hands are as a hook as well. Well, Barrera said as Larry Point. Kevin Kili at Kennedy Makini. Pati si Manny Pacquiao ay nakalaban din ni Salud sa isang exhibition match. Matapos nakuha ni Salud ang WBA Super Bantamweight title kontra sa Mexican na si Juan Jose Estrada. O makiat na ito sa featherweight division kung saan nakatapat nito ang champion ng Venezuela na si Jesus Pool na may 25 na panalo at 14 knockouts sa kanyang kartada. Hindi rin ito makumpiyansaan si Paul mga tol dahil lumaban na ito sa isang world championship kontra kay Juan Jose Estrada na tinalo naman ni Salud. Tara mga tol ating balikan kung kaano ba kagaling itong si Salud. Sa pagbungad na unang round mga tol, nagpalitan na kaagad ng mga malalakas na suntok ang dalawang fighters kung saan ang Pinoy na si Salud ang naka-yellow green trunks. Occasionally between fights and the celebrations get bigger. After the fight against Zavala, he got mail from New Zealand. The fan had seen the fight and wanted his autograph and everything. Occasionally between fights and the celebrations get bigger. After the fight against Zavala, he got mail from New Zealand. The fan had seen the fight and wanted his autograph and everything else. Honolulu is actually a very good boxing town. In fact, I'm surprised over the course of the years that we haven't been over there. Wait long enough, we will be. That's true. <laughs> nice right hand by Paul. Salute Connor. <laughs> Up and down, but... Good work, Connor. Good work. Yeah, Paul makes that mistake later as from what we saw in the last fight of Saludes Rip. Paul wants to be outside. That's where he'll do best in this fight. Play at these weights, but in this case, I think it's quite a difference. End of round one, we'll be back. Sa round two at round three, mga tol, mainit pa rin ang palitan ng mga suntok ng dalawang boxers na gustong makakuha ng impresibong panalo. In a lot of it, you can see the looping punches, the tentative jab he throws out just to keep... Nice right hand by Salud, and that's where he wants Paul, right there. Salud front down, it's really his fight. I wouldn't think Paul would want to be where he is right now. No, kind of a strange tactic. But he may feel that at least one round of this fight he's got to play it inside. The outside. A little low. And he draws the warning. Oh, got much the better of that exchange. I beg your pardon, Salud got much the better of that exchange. Good defense becoming offense for Salud. He picked off the jab and then landed one of his own. Fighters. 
for a fight, but he has fought on the inside in the past. Jesse Reed has joined us on... Is that a pep talk, or do you really believe that? No, I really believe that. If so, if the difference in weight is a big difference, and also in size. But the difference right now is Kong, not not lean in so much and give his head away. He's got a good height advantage, and just try to use it and punch with him, but stay with him when he's punching to try to win the exchange. But as you to bend it over at his waist, he makes himself... In the fight, spending as much time in the ropes as he's shown so far. Chris in the corner, face to his full. A man... win this fight, you have a style that can win this fight, go out and do it. And they picked a good time to face a salute because he would be naturally taking another away, nothing away from Jesus' salute, but the cut in the Zavala fight, a serious cut over Zavala's eye, and I believe took something like 35 stitches and had a little plastic surgery to get it closed, had a lot to do with that victory. This is our main event, Jesus Salud versus Jesus Pol. And right now, Pol is fighting Salud's fight. And not fighting it badly. No, because he's coming around the side with his punches, and there's a sort of a peekaboo defense, but he gets around it. End of round three, again a very close round. Remember, Salud is... Him at times difficult to fight and he threw more than the one shot because he was perfectly squared up and had cut the ring and i would think that serves salute well with that short right hand and jesse reed does not want salute leaning he wants him straight up and getting that jab out there actually full just throwing single punches Matindi pa rin ang palitan ng kombinasyon dito sa kalagitnaan ng laban mga tol kung saan mabibilis pa rin ang dalawang boxers. He's got a chain. And again, Pole fighting with his back to the ropes. And even though he's getting there more than fifth round, Jesus Pole, and we'll see what kind of tactics Pole uses. We worked on in the gym. We like to have him do a little more. Stick, stick close. Surprising you at all. He seems to be fighting with his back to the ropes more than any of us thought. No, no, we anticipated, which is fine for Jesus. He just has to get a little busy. Really starting to take control of the fight. Yes, uh, I think uh, Adam is when uh, Pole. Jesus uh, salute that uh, saw Paul a little, uh, get a little tired. Here we go. Here we go. That's it. Back. Up the middle. Abel, thanks very much. Luda obviously happy with what his charge is doing. And the good is starting to put combinations together, which they wanted. I thought it was interesting he expressed a little surprise that Paul was as close to salute as he Jesus Paul, and they thought that they would have to go find him. He was throwing punches. One, two, two. Lazy left of his own. Salute has adjusted to Cole and getting inside more, but Cole has not adjusted to Salute being better on the inside than he was earlier. And he should be trying to throw uppercuts against the smaller fighter instead of trying to throw jabs that are going over the top. A good tactic is throw the jab over the top deliberately and then come up the middle with an uppercut. Wala pa rin sumuko sa dalawang fighters, matira na lang ang matigas ang panga dito. Nice left hand. And it did nothing because his legs are widely spread apart. He's punching from weird angles trying to catch Salute off balance. And now he's getting hammered. Yeah, nice left hand and then a right hand behind it by Salute. Uppercut from long range, tough punch to throw. Introduce the crowd to the fighters. They're waiting. Sa round na ito mga tol, wala pa rin kapaguran ang dalawang fighters. Malalakas pa rin ang pinakawalang suntok. He's been up against somebody a little more powerful. He could be in some trouble. They're just seemingly unable to do what Jesse reading too much as he was asked not to do also. Yeah. Coming to the end of round seven, and Salute started to pick the pace up and might have hurt Jesus Cole at the end of the seventh. Really 
driving pole off the mark now. Jesse Reed actually thought the pole won two thirds of that last round. Speech. If you figure in the long-term relationship between fighter and trainer, uh, he's letting Cole know what's possible if he works. He's tired too, and that's why the connect percentage has gone way down. When a fighter's tired, the punch is just... There was a right uppercut, and down goes Jesus Paul. Mula sa sulid na pinakawala ni Salud, bumagsak si Paul. Dito sa round 8, ngunit tumayo pa ito at lumaban. Steady wheels. They'd be doing Cole a favor to stop it. He's tired and a big target now to get hurt. The uppercut that started him off on another right hand. Still 35 seconds to go for Jesus Cole. And another right hand flush on the chin. Drives Cole into the ropes. He's ready to go again. Spins out of there. 20 seconds to go. That's the second. Mula sa atake ni Salud, isang kanan ang tumama, bagsak ulit si Paul. Ngunit nalampasan pa nito ang bilang ng referee. Uh. Spins uh. there. Second knockdown. Stop it now. Remember, there is no three knockdown rule here. You just stop it on principle. Hey, Able to let it go. He's got seven seconds to get through the round. Another right hand drives him into the ropes. And Jesus Cole did get through the round. The right hand was grazing. Sa round 9 mga tol, mas lalong lumalakas ang mga suntok ni Salud kung saan nasaktan na nito si Paul. Win the fight. I, I question whether that's a possibility. Bottom line is, I don't... Well, Paul is on borrowed time now. sa mga bumba ni Salud bagsak sa ikatlong pagkakataon si Paul ngunit nagpakita din ito ng tapang and still a long way to go over a minute in the final round and Paul will do well to finish the fight mula sa mga sulidong suntok na naipatama ni Salud dito sa round 10 Nagpa siya ng referee na itigil na ang laban. Kaya nakuha ni Salud ang technical knockout na panalo. Referee Pat Russell stops the bout. The official time, 2 minutes and 11 seconds. Round number 10. The winner by TKO, Jesus the Hawaiian Punch. Ano naman ang masabi nyo sa pinakitang tapang nitong si Salud? Pag-usapan na lang natin yan sa baba. At salamat sa iyong suporta sa mga kapwa kong seaman, mga OFW at mga boxing fans. Lagi nyo sundan, huwag magpapahuli Pag-usapan ni Bakbakan, balita niya at laban Mga Pinoy na di nagpapagapi Salamat sa mga suporta na lagi nandyan